take my incessant tirades out of the, each one of these deliveries, you know, all the, the mean and negative things that I've said on the internet. Imagine if I was just showing you shit that you want to know, just giving you things you want and telling you jokes along the way and smiling while I do it. That's what most people are doing because most people aren't thinking for themselves, which means they're circulating our master's propaganda. And that should be obvious, but it's not because people aren't thinking for themselves. <clears throat> the approach that I took was a conscious one. It was either make money and sell some of the art, etc., etc., for the sake of the fucking recognition factor, or do the right thing because I could see that things were falling apart and people were blissfully unaware of any of this, let alone, uh, or more importantly, the fact that they're contributing to it. I whine about this shit often because it's relevant. It's not going to stop being relevant anytime soon either. Because people don't have a fucking clue what's going on. Because they don't mean to. Which again means they're circulating fucking paradigms our masters left online. They're circulating stories, adult fairy tales, retards repeat. And most people out there do. They do. But they don't understand that that's what they're doing. It's me being redundant, but our master's got us through repetition. That's what programming is. If it wasn't painfully obvious, and again, it should be. Hey, I think I said something like that earlier, too. <clears throat> right now, if you challenge some of these kids online... One second. I've said this a few different times because it's what they can draw from. It's all they know. And I'm very tired. I just got home. So let's see if I can remember half of them. There aren't many. Um, they're going to call you schizophrenic. They're going to assume they're going to diagnose you and tell you that you're schizophrenic based on the fact that you're leaving things online. That they're unwilling in most cases to read, let alone interpret, you know, analyze and interpret, dissect, reason out on their own, think about and do something with. They're going to tell you that you're yapping, because that's apparently a trendy fucking thing to say. They're going to superficially uh, assess who you are based on your profile. Now, my main Instagram account is private. So these superficial kids, the best they've got is jumping in there and saying, you got 60,000 posts. Some claim that's crazy. Others claim, or will try to take a dig at me because I only have, I have under 100 people in there right now. I found a post that I forgot about, so apparently there used to be closer to 1,000 or more in there, but I didn't remember that. Um, either way, I cleaned house is the point. And the reason I did that is to get rid of fucking retards. Just like these kids who are, you know, yapping at me. You see what I did there? <clears throat> what's another one they'll rattle off and I mean they all sound the same that's the best part they don't have anything new to draw from they don't have anything creative to say they aren't choosing to use the brain between their ears and stand out like an individual you also get a bunch of bargain bin kids telling you say it with a gif or post a gif because that's another trendy stupid fucking thing that people are rattling off right now they all sound the same. They all act the same. This is by design, not by coincidence. It's the laziest fucking thing you could possibly do in terms of conducting yourself in life, in a social sphere, or in a digital medium in this case. If you think of yourself in high regards, which most of these duds do, um, they've told me as much. <laughs> <laughs> varying degrees um, and or you you think of yourself or assume that you're an individual there's no reason you would conduct yourself anywhere close to what these kids are rattling off the other point to appreciate many of these kids that I've challenged 
The ones that will talk at you the most are the ones that are trying to defend entertainment. They're mad that I said something mean about a celebrity puppet, a Zionist celebrity puppet, a baby-eating piece of garbage, a figure in the public sphere in place to mislead and manipulate us. Right now, they got Ryan Reynolds in fucking Deadpool and Wolverine, and he's using the they-them propaganda. Because he works for Disney, and he works for these fucking scum. These scumbags. If he was a good person, he wouldn't do that. But he's obviously not a good person. Not to mention, any of these celebrity puppets are contributing to disparity. If you've ever had trouble paying bills, if you've ever wondered why things cost a lot, and you and I have trouble having a lot of money... You know, uh, all at one time. Um, accruing money is difficult for us. Most of us. You know, it's time and energy. That's what we're sacrificing. And what we're getting isn't anywhere close to what we're giving. Then you got the disparity of it all. You got celebrity puppets, sports icons, etc., etc. Politicians. I mean, wasn't Hillary Clinton, for fuck's sake, just with her shitty book sales... I mean, that's something nobody would have bought if people understood what's what and who these people are. But just the same, she was a millionaire. Through other shiesty shit, too, mind you. These things would not be in place if people were using their brain and doing the right thing. If we banded together and we saw that shit like this didn't exist, it wouldn't exist. Now, you should apply that thought to anything and everything that's keeping us down. Uh, you and I are in our master's pocket. We're under their thumb. We've been had. However you need me to dress it up for you to start to think about these things. The difficult part is, is most of the stuff you're going to find online is superficial propaganda. It's fluff. It's fluff pieces. So you're not going to see any of the deeper roots <clears throat> that would probably piss you off, or at least should. And again, that's by design, not by coincidence. People don't care. They just don't care. They're certainly not going to put in the time and energy to find these things. They don't know how to do that because abstract thought is being done away with. Critical thinking skills is not on the docket. And it makes sense. If you got a bunch of obedient debt slaves, the last thing you would do is teach them how to think for themselves and encourage them to teach others the same thing or to act the same way to a degree. That's a shit way to put it. To model some of their behavior after, you know, skills in life that benefit us, opposed to, you know, detrimentally fucking us up. That's a bit better. Since I started walking a really narrow line of, don't act like everybody else, but here, act like this. I am aware that I said those things along those lines, and I was starting to get off track. Either way, what the fuck do I know? Nobody cares anyway, and you probably won't see this video.